Let's go, guys. We got another game here. This time, we have Corvinus playing as the Order of the Dragon against his opponents, Kevin Quasar. I don't know who he is, but he's a pretty good player. And he's playing the Delhi Sultanate in the color blue. Welcome, everybody. If you want a specific matchup I can find for you, just let me know in the comments. I'm casting some Order of the Dragon games because... Oh my god, this is really... It's going all steep here. <laughs> going to the deer here. Uh, it, I'm casting Order of the Dragon because someone asked for me in the comments. Hey, how about some Order of the Dragon games? There you go, buddy. Uh, I, I found one for you. Uh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully it's a good one because we have really good players playing this one. Now the Order of the Dragon actually going for this early deer at the beginning which is really interesting just because their villagers gather faster so those deers are just gonna be gathered faster than usual like how, about how much food left still like yeah this, they gather really fast actually so are we gonna see survival techniques that's the question i'm not really sure about that otherwise it's gonna delay his asia by a lot and the delhi sultanate the, one of the most aggressive civilizations in the Fiddle Age, just because they can put the scholars there, pump those units, and they don't need gold for those upgrades, they just get them for free. They just use the gold they get, probably, if they manage to get those sacred sites. Also, can consider for free to get those scholars and just pump units, so you don't really want to get really behind when it comes to the Asia timing. No, actually, Corvinus going for early with Barrow. Interesting choice. He he does he didn't go for the survival techniques. He's actually going for the will Barrow, which is really interesting. He actually went for a five 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 villagers, five villagers on deer, five villagers on gold, and let's take a look at his food per income. Actually, it's two hundred. 315 almost 300 foot per minute which is really good and it's it's gonna it's gonna increase with a wheelbarrow upgrade just by a bit and it's really interesting if you think about it i already have five villagers here on gold gathering almost 300 foot per income it's just really nice and here already have enough gold to, if he wants, he can age up or go for a survival techniques. Both are valid options for him. Meanwhile, the Tower of Victory here for Heaven's Quasar. Not surprised, this is the go to landmark just to buff all those units, get those fast attack speed arrows. You know, the, all the archers, the spearmen, they just faster, faster, better, stronger. At the same time, actually, very. Fast Ashap coming for Corvinus actually it, with a very interesting build. He having survival techniques, not really interesting. Or actually, he doesn't he doesn't have enough wood for that. Probably will will have it soon. But those deer are really running out quickly. So now that he have that, look at that. He managed to go for sheep. Yes, he already have like eleven. So this is not a really good spot. Not decent amount of sheep. He managed to go all the way through the opponent's base. Let's take a look at the opponent's scout, scouting route. Looks like he's not gonna find anything here. So I, I find it really interesting. This is a build that works a static. Like very decent age up timing. I already have the, the deer. You don't need to worry about that food resource that is far from your base. It's just a really good spot to be in. Now the Delhi most likely will go for some gassy raiders first, just to get some map control and, you know, push those villagers away. And actually he's going for the barracks near the deer pack. Not even gonna bother about, you know, putting a tower, just get those spearmen out and get it fast. Get them fast because they take some time to, to arrive. 18 seconds for a spearman. So they, they take some time. I don't remember how much time they take the regular Spearman, but it's definitely faster than 18 seconds, I believe. 
Mainwear Palace already with plus one range armor. I believe this, this landmark is gonna get buffed for the Holy Roman Empire next patch. So I'm gonna see very different playstyles for the Holy Roman Empire next patch. They have having actually quite decent upgrades. Like the marching drills is gonna be free for them. Another thing is happening is that they're buffing the Mainwork Palace, so Hopefully we're gonna see more players testing out the Mainware Palace for the Holy Roman Empire. It's a viable choice. Uh, just the Icon Chapel is just so good. So you don't really you don't really know if that's gonna work, but I I'm sure a lot of players will test that out. Meanwhile we see a uh, Heavy boy here. Early guild man at arms. Have a lot of health. This guy has a lot of armor for sure. Uh, he's gonna be able to deal with this gas generator quite easily, along with his brother, the gilded spearman. Golden Quiras also going out. It's gonna be get nerfed actually. Next, the next patch. Uh, Realize actually uh, a little bit too strong at the moment. Corvin is going really heavy on those, uh, on that gold. Probably gonna get those mana arms or those upgrades as soon as possible. Probably we'll, we'll just see a lot of mana arms just because he's getting those upgrades. So if you get those upgrades, hopefully you're gonna you're gonna see them soon. Uh, you, you expect to see that unit coming for you. Look at that, that early deer pack, and only five villagers allow you to gather so much food which is really really cool like if you think about it now we gotta be careful with those archers are already here i'm gonna be able to take down the mana arms but those villagers are gonna be pushed away mana arms are just gonna be tanking everything here it's like come at me bro come at me gassy raider is gonna find the scout here spearman no nearby and the Gilded Horseman is gonna arrive soon to the party. One Gilded Horseman can take away, can take down all those archers actually. With, if there is no Spearman around, you gotta be careful with those Gilded Horsemen. Now this is a problem with the Order of the Dragon is that they don't really... They can't build a very big army at the, at the beginning. They just take so long to, to catch up the economy. Are you gonna already see his opponent? actually having 1.1k 1, 1. resources a minute whereas Corvinus is sitting on like 800 900 like about 100 resources less than his opponent well, looks like heaven's gonna gather this army close to his base I put a small tower here but Looks like the Gilded Horseman will arrive on time and he's gonna he's gonna be able to take some villagers but looks like the Gassy Raiders coming time to scare that Gilded Horseman not gonna be able to push away his opponent from the berry bushes and more production buildings going for the Delhi Sultanate this is about to get scary here like those archers our Tower of Victory archers but Order of the Dragon have the early mana arms, so it's basically a hard counter to those archers. As long as you know you have, if you don't have enough archers to deal with this, it's just gonna be these guys are gonna be tanking all the damage, and it's just not really good for you if you want to deal with other types of units. Now, if your opponent already have this gilded horseman, you need spearman. Like even with those Cassie Riders, I highly recommend you to actually just go for guild spearman because this bad guys has a lot of hp uh these are big horses i don't know what they ate but it's like these are big boys more mana arms coming for corbin is here it looks like he's just gonna raid with a couple of horsemen meanwhile farm transition actually starting for the order of a dragon it's a very early farm transition if you ask me Still have plenty of resources in the map. 
However, the number of villagers is not really helping Order of the Dragon to start taking some map control. So uh, probably it's a it's a good choice to go farms under your town center. Corbin is playing really defensively, just sending a couple of horsemen just to harass. Meanwhile, using all those mana arms just to defend himself from any kind of attack. No, mana arms for defend, horsemen for harass, and so far he's paying really well for Corvinus. He haven't lost the horseman yet. Big wall coming here, but these archers are gonna be careful not to fight against those mana arms. This is a really scary number of mana arms, already 10. And these are way stronger. They have 230 HP. These are tanky boys for sure. Now it's not exactly a 2 to 1 ratio in, in the way that they, they work. Uh, but you can think of it that way in a simplified way. These are like 20 mana arms if you want to if if you want to see it that way. Yeah, you can definitely can. It's like on the walls and let's see who wins this battle here. Looks like it's not gonna be able to engage yet. Gassy Rider numbers are really good for Kevin's Quasar. So can potentially have some good time against those gilded man at arms. But uh, to be honest, this is one of those fights what where you really don't know who's gonna win. Like who's gonna who's actually gonna be trading well here because you never know with Order of the Dragon. It's like, okay, I can take it. It's like, oh, I cannot take it. And with Order of the Dragon, it's like, oh, I'm losing. Oh, somehow I'm not losing anymore. And we have a big clash here. Man at arms just tanking all the damage. Gassy Raiders trying to do the best they can to deal the damage to the Man at arms. But Man at arms number is still very high at the moment. 13 for Corvinus, 14 Gassy Raiders still for Heaven's Gassar. Looks like Man at arms still gonna be alive. 11 so far on the field and with less and less gassy raiders on the field looks like those archers are not going to be able to do any kind of damage to those mana arms and daily loses his most important unit the gassy raiders to deal with this and corvin is still with 12 mana arms now all these mana arms have very little health to be honest uh, they, they are not full health so you cannot really Take them as like 12 but definitely if still alive still dangerous so you can take them take them out Th those one times don't have much hp like at least one third of them it's like very low hp so it's definitely something to consider but heavens lost a lot of his main force in this battle thinking about you know 20 gassy rares should be good enough but apparently it wasn't and so far, only one secret site being captured by him. Only having three scholars on the field. Gonna get, you know, I, I feel like a distinct lack of military upgrades for Heaven's Kazar actually cost him the, the fight here. Just because he, he didn't have those scholars there. He, he wasn't able to get those upgrades as soon as possible and... You know, he, he didn't have that plus one melee armor upgrade, melee damage that he really needed in this fight. And this really costed him, especially going for, for plus one range armor first. Uh, like, the, these, they are not range units and it's gonna be only... It's gonna be Man at Arms only challenge here. That you're just gonna go back to the deer. Meanwhile, farm transition looking really well for Corvinus. It's looking really good here inside his base. How many farms he have? 18 farms. So he's uh, not, not a bad number to have in the field age. Actually, securing that food income is really good. Manatam's gonna be torching down that gate and looks like we're gonna have another engagement here. Like, it's 
gonna be the only Ma Man at Arms challenge here. But uh, now the Gassi Raiders, instead of being with the main army, they're actually going for a raid. And you know, you, you gotta be careful here. Like, you're b basically letting those archers die against that horseman and that Man at Arms mass that is already in your town and it's like it, there's no way for you to take take them out that easily with only archers only 24 archers are not gonna be able to do so much damage only three archers inside the town center at this point you, you really want to call those villagers here to help as much as they can at the same time gassy riders went for a raid but didn't manage to get any villager kill archers are just gonna get damage from those mana armors now and it's just gonna be really hard for you to you know take those mana arms out of your base only three three villagers inside the town center so it's actually not doing so much damage but want to take all those like all those villagers inside the town center to actually deal damage now those archers the best they can do is kite just kite and pray for the best Gassy Raiders are being called here to deal with this Man at Arms mass. Looks like Corvinus is gonna mass another set of Man at Arms. I already have some of them dealing some harassment here outside of the of his opponent's base and those food resources gonna get denied. Actually having those villagers without gathering food income meaning Heaven's Quasar is not going to be able to get much military. And those Cassidorius are really f heavy on food. So you really need those food resources. I'm going to build another, another tower just in case this food resource got denied. Somehow, Heaven's Quasar is still alive with 41 military units. Already have 410 gold. That's a very interesting gate coming here for... What is this? What am I watching? But looks like Corvinus is gonna... Is gonna macro for that... That castle age. I mean, he has plenty of gold. He's still producing mana arms. Looks like he deal a lot of damage to his opponent already. I mean, you can already see in the income per minute, food is not really going really well for for the daily sultanate. Now, Gassi Raiders are in big numbers here, but we have a situation before where Corvinos are also had very similar amount of mana at arms, and the Gassi Raiders were not able to to pull that out. And let's see now with the upgrades if the Delhi has a chance against those man at arms. It's just such a hard position to be in. But he has six scholars there. Currently went for some gold. Or actually is he does he has a market somewhere? Is he selling? He has a market, so he's selling the gold he's getting from those sacred sites to get more income. And looks like this food source is gonna get denied for now. Probably. Gonna go for another one. Still have some deer pack here. It looks like he's committed to gather food from this area. And now the archers. Looks like Delhi is going for a counter attack here. And look at how many how many units you need to deal with this. This this these Order of the Dragon units are just so tanky. It's just so hard to deal with them. Especially in the Feudal Age. And if you're a civilization that, that do not have access to knights, it's just so hard to deal with the Man at Arms. Now, Archer's numbers still decent, but not like a really... He's not having like a critical mass here. And looks like he's gonna fight here. Looks like the Spearman went down. Spearman is still alive here. Gotta be careful not to let those Spearman leave. Otherwise, Gassy Raider numbers are just gonna go down. But the Manotarms are just cleaning up everything. 
scholars just trying to you know pray to win situation it's like it's okay buddy keep healing keep healing you can do it but looks like Delhi is gonna lose his Gassy Raiders here and he taps out well play by bot players wow this is a I, I guess a new strategy for older of the dragon has come you don't really need to go fast imperial anymore or fast castle 